Hello everyone, my name is Steve Samuel from Design Visionaries and today I would like to show you an epicyclic gear system that uh, I did in NX and as you can see I animated it. It's made out of different components that I just put together very quickly. The uh, animation ability in NX is really superb. Um, the epicyclic gear system is incredibly powerful because you can get very, very large gear reductions. And so any place that you have a motor that's turning very quickly and you have to gear it down for, let's say, a tractor or things of that nature, uh, you can use epicyclics. We are going to be printing this one out and um, putting it together in uh, 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 some Lexan parts and some 3D printed parts. But I thought it would be nice to show you that there is a speed motor here in my animation. And the speed motor is able to drive everything. Are you looking to learn CAD software such as Siemens NX or SolidWorks? If you are, our books have you covered. With easy to follow examples and definitions from beginner to advanced, you will almost certainly learn something new. Purchase a PDF or paperback in our store today. And the speed motor is able to drive everything uh, with this one speed motor. That's how we do it. All these uh, other components are created uh, and uh, put into rigid bodies, rigid groups, I should say. And then what I did is I defined contact uh, for all of them. There's one of the gears. There's another one of the gears. There's the other gear. And there's the rotor <clears throat> and the uh, input device. So everything is here. There's the input device. So um, all you do is uh, create your, uh, your revolutes. There's a bunch of revolutes here. There's one for each gear. There's one for the input, there's one for the output, and this ring gear is fixed. And then you uh, select uh, one of the inputs, you put a speed motor on it. Uh, in this case, I'm asking the uh, speed motor to go minus 60 degrees um, uh, per second. Um, say OK. And then I simply animate. Where is the animate button? Here it is, play. And there you have it, the epicyclic gear system. Uh, like I said, you will see this uh, in earnest very soon. We're using the laser cutter machine and we have a nice 3D printer where we're printing things out. We're going to assemble it. And then um, we'll talk more about the equations, etc., that you can use to analyze an ep epicyclic gear system. Again, my name is Steve Samuel from Design Visionaries. Please like and subscribe. We're trying to put out more of these videos and that of course helps uh, also um, interact with us. We love it when you uh, have comments and we try to get back to you. Um, so thanks again and have a wonderful week.